Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of Keith's Reviews. This is the last one I'm going to do for a couple, three days. Um, I leave town in the morning. I'm going to Quincy, Illinois. Um, I'm going for my uh, Master Barbecue Judge certification, and one of the requirements is you uh, cook with a professional team. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow and Saturday, and I'll be back sometime Saturday night. Um, hopefully, I'll have some good video of that trip and what it takes to be a competition barbecue cook. Uh, but for now, I'm going to do uh, the Stone Ruination IPA. I've looked this bottle over everywhere, even on the glass and everything. I don't see any kind of date at all. So if somebody can wise me up as to uh, uh, what the date is, where you can find a date on this, this bottle, I would appreciate it. Um, if there is one, I'm going to try to save, definitely try to save this cap. I'm going to be using my... I don't have any stone caps. This is the first stone beer I've ever had. It's in good shape. Just a nice plain caps and stone. So, let me back this camera off a little bit. Get this in the glass and we'll see what we have here. I just hope this is fresh. I don't know. Buying it in... The western part of Illinois, I'm not sure. Beautiful looking IPA though. It's a nice, not quite as orangey as some, but nice orange straw color. Seems to be a decent, but not a lot of carbonation streaming up. Nice uh, two finger fluffy white head. It's a good looking IPA. A lot of carbonation sticking to the glass too. I don't know if you can see it. The light's not the best in, in here. Let me get a smell on this. And oh yeah, I'm getting a lot, nice bunch of hops, citrus, a lot of pine in this, grapefruit, orange, maybe some mangoes, apricots. Just a subtle, subtle bready undertone. But this is a definitely a definitely hop, hoppy beer. Um, this comes in at uh, what does it say? Seven point seven percent. Yeah, 7.7% ABV. I still know. It just says a liquid poem to the glory of the hop. And then there's a big long story on the back that I'm not going to read. Um, we get a taste on this and see what we have here. There's some good hoppiness there. I don't know if it's 100 plus IBUs. There's a good deal of maltiness that kind of balances it out. Definitely getting that pine. The taste is real similar to the nose. Um, got, got the hot bitterness right up front. <clears throat> then it sort of mellows out a little bit in the middle. And it does come back a little bit on the finish. It's a good tasting IB8. IPA, even if it's even if it may be a little little old. Um, you got your pine, you got your citrus, different tropical fruits, grapefruit, mango. It's medium bodied, mild carbonation. Period. Be leaving a nice uh, nice lacing down the glass. Definitely some some hop resin sticking to the glass. So let me uh, let him sit this uh, sit and let this warm up for a while, and I'll be back in a few with my final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's only been a few. There's gonna be no final chug on this one. This is definitely a sipper. So I don't know. This is darn good, darn good IPA. I I looked the bottle over. I can't. I cannot find a date anywhere on this. I imagine this is probably not the freshest. Um, I tried going to the the stone site for some reason. It kept timing out and I kept getting that 404 uh, 404 error so um, I don't even know if there's any information on, on this on the uh, on the site but I'm definitely going to keep this bottle so if anybody can tell me where where to find find a date on this I'd appreciate it um not sure this is the freshest but this is what I got um, as an IPA 
And as a beer I like, I'm going to give it a good solid 9 out of 10. I'd like to taste it if it's fresher, but um, I'm not sure if I can get it here any fresher. So, until next time, 9 out of 10. And cheers, everybody. Keep drinking good beer.